So we just got back from watching the Demon Slayer movie and uh... Bucky's in there somewhere. Did you just say Goku? <laughs> friends, it's Akadiris, and welcome everybody to another episode of the Otaku Monthly Favorites. This is a series that I do every month where I introduce you guys to different anime, different manga, and... Say it? And different anime and otaku related things that have been introduced to within that given month. There we go. You may have noticed we have a new <laughs> outro for this series, and we do have new trend trend transitions thanks to the extremely talented Alex. You guys should go follow her. I'm going to just get right into it. Let's go dive into some anime. Dude, I love these transitions. Get diving right into it. If you guys follow me on Twitter, I did tweet and post this photo of Joey and I outside the cinemas of, you guessed it, Kimetsu no Yaiba the movie. And I have been waiting for this movie to come out and I did read the manga just so that I would know what was going on. These won't be spoilers. They added something that was different that was not in the manga at the very beginning of the film just to set the stage. But other than that, it went pretty much hand in hand with everything that I had already read. So it was just as badass and emotional as I expected it to be and more. I'm going to kind of take you guys on a journey of what it was like at the theater because there is some stuff I wanted to share here. First off, if you guys didn't hear, Kimetsu no Yaiba is now, as it says here, it's become the fastest film in Japanese cinema history. Bruh. And when I went into the theater, there was so many people wearing Rengoku merch that had Rengoku plushies. It was a beautiful sight to see. There was a lot of mixtures of 3D and 2D. They did 3D animations for a lot of the fight scenes, but it matched really well with what I saw. The contrast of the two animations it didn't feel so out of place. I think it blended in really well, and then the soundtrack was just impeccable. How can I say this without spoilers? For those of you that have read the manga, you'll you'll know what I'm trying to say here, hopefully. Tanjiro with the katana, and when he threw it at something, that shit felt so satisfying, but then not so satisfying at the end because I was like, <sighs> But Rengoku and his monologue, the whole theater was sniffling. Like, it wasn't loud crying, but there was this girl that was next to me, for example. She had a Rengoku plush, and she had, like, Rengoku keychains all over her purse, and she was, like, just sunk into her chair, and she was, like, with tears just streaming down her face, but it was like a silent cry. So continuing on with Demon Slayer, I wanna show you guys some stuff that I got from the theater. Depending on the series, if it's like a really hot title, sometimes the movie theater gives an exclusive item with the purchase of your ticket. So in the case with Demon Slayer, they gave everyone a physical manga about Ren Goku's backstory. Unfortunately, I will not be giving this away anytime soon. The other thing that theaters do in Japan is that they do have a booth where they sell merch merchandise of the hottest movie at that theater. So of course it was Demon Slayer once again and I ran over there after the movie ended. Dude, there was so much fighting over the merch there, it was crazy. But I managed to get my hands on this one, which is a concept art book of the movie itself. It gives you some behind the scenes, it gives you some concept art and details about what it was like. Another thing that I bought was a Demon Slayer clear file. This is a folder that you can put some papers in, but honestly this is more of a collectible for me than anything else so it's just something nice to have and the last one that i got apparently like these are really hard to get now it's a blindfold of tanjiro's eyes i'm going to try and give them away at conventions whenever the borders open up so the demon slayer movie itself i would rate it a good maybe eight out of ten honestly there wasn't much that i could say negative about it i mean i think it's just a personal preference that demon slayer isn't my top favorite anime but for what it is and considering it is just a good story. I think that they pulled it off really well. Didn't feel really like a cash grab and it was emotional and I think a lot of love went into it. So continuing on, I'm going to show you guys some manga. 
So going into the manga section of this video, I wanted to, ah, I wanted to talk about Downfall by Inio Asano, same author of Oyasumi Poon Poon, same author of Dead Dead Demons and A Girl on the Shore. You know what? I don't know why there were some people that said that they didn't like this because I found it really relatable, at least to me, uh, especially at this point in my life. So Downfall is about a manga artist who has just finished publishing the last volume of his series. After reaching this peak of fame, he quite literally is going through the downfall of his mental health his marriage, his friendships, because of all this time and devotion that he has dedicated to this passion. And not saying that I'm going through any downfall in my personal life with my relationship or friends, but I do feel like instead of a downfall, I, I feel kind of on this line where it's neither going up nor down and I'm trying to wonder what is the next big thing that I can do, something that I genuinely love to do in my spare time and bring it out into the world. The irony of downfall is that it's a manga artist who has grown to hate manga. So he wonders, if I make another big hit title, will it even make me happy? And he feels like manga is going in a really bad direction now, that people aren't expressing themselves the way that they should, and that a lot of manga artists are just trying to cater to the fans for fan service and moe, and he finds all of that to be crap. I could go on and on about how this manga has affected me and in my life and how I relate to it because you know I feel like if anything I took from it was it made me kind of realize the struggles of what it's like to cater to everyone else and you just don't give enough time for yourself and um, sometimes you just gotta do what you want and just say fuck it like of what other people think and I don't know I, I, I could go on but I feel like that's just something for me because I'm still trying to figure myself out. Anyways, I'm not saying that this is life-changing, but it paints a pretty good picture, I think. Bringing it to a more lighter note, I want to show you guys some cool stuff that I've picked up along the way this past month that I think you guys will enjoy. So, transition please. So one of the first things that I got was this Pikachu schedule book. It has this really cool Pikachu tail bookmark string that you can use. It's half schedule book, but half diary for me. On the back of the book, you'll see that I've labeled months at the top left hand corner. And the reason for this is because I try to report at the end of every month of what my mental health was like, um, how I could have been better, some great things that have happened during that month, what I want to do better for the next month, and playing the social media game, it does take a toll on you, and I feel like this is something that more people should do, especially when you don't know how to convey your thoughts into words sometimes and you can write it down. Of course, I'm not going to show you what I wrote because that stuff's really personal, but this is something you guys should do if you find a pretty good schedule book. But mostly I also wanted to show you the cool Pikachu tail and the Pikachu design. I bought it at the Pokemon Center. I go there like twice a week because it's like a second home to me now. The second one are these Kingdom Hearts Tsum Tsums. I didn't even know that they made a new set of Tsum Tsums, but I got them thanks to Aitai Kuchi. Thanks guys for gifting me these. And Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory is coming out actually tonight from the recording of this video. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. <laughs> so that concludes for this Otaku Monthly Favorites, guys. Let me know what you guys thought for anything that I've shared in this video. I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more. Uh